Good morning. This is David Burnell. Latest podcast is on dynamic events that affect humans. I know right now the big talk of the town is the coronavirus, uh, and a lot of the discussions that are taking place there revolve around toilet paper and stocking up on things. And the question to ask yourself, is that a bad thing? And if it's not a bad thing, what is appropriate? And I don't have all the answers for this, but I have a couple suggestions. I was at Costco the other day, and I picked up a couple big, uh, I got there early, and I picked up a couple of big uh, things of tissue paper and some towels, and I had some other things I needed to pick up as well. And there was plenty. There was pallets of this stuff. And as the morning progressed, and I was there for about an hour, hour and a half walking around, um, because I can't find things sometimes, there was a lady who walked by me. She goes, oh, you found tissue paper. I said, yeah, yeah, there was plenty of it this morning. And she goes, oh, I I can't seem to ever find it. I said, why don't you just take one of these? We'll be fine with just one. And You would have think literally that I saved her firstborn child from drowning. Uh, She just very animated and very crazy, grateful, which to me was really kind of sad. Uh, And I don't tell you this story to make me look like a good guy or anything like that. That's not the point. The point is people are so fear-based right now. And there's not much generosity going on in other parts of the world. And one of the number one lessons I've pulled out of the missions that I've been on around the globe, where there's been major disasters, where human beings have been affected and life and death was really the discussion of the day, is that community is key. Generosity is critical and very important. A lot of people think that if I have hordes of stuff, and I think the challenge with the tissue paper comes when people fill up four carts full of this stuff and don't leave any for anybody else. And that's really becoming the problem in some areas around the globe. The ability to extend ourselves to other and share with others as needed really falls into the model that was developed by Maslow when he came up a long time ago with the hierarchy of needs. And, you know, it starts at physiological needs of air, food, water, shelter, sleep, clothing, uh, reproduction. It moves into safety, which is personal security, employment resources, health, property. Those are kind of advanced safety issues. In the old days, it was more along the personal security piece. Then it moves into love and belonging, friendship, intimacy, family, sense of connection. And that's really then above that is self-esteem and or esteem, which is respect and status and recognition and strength and freedom, to self-actualization, which is the desire to become the most of the, what we can become. But the middle piece, love and belonging, a lot of people neglect that and negate that when national disasters or emergencies take place. They isolate themselves, they hide in their safe room with their food and water, and they don't think that they should become part of a community. And so where I grew up in the inner city area of L.A. County, one of the things I learned as a kid was that when you had friends, you were safe. There's a real psychology that goes behind this that I'm aware of, too, where people become members of gangs because gangs provide protection. And they might not want to be a gang member, but in the areas where I grew up, if you're not part of a gang, then you are isolated, you're alone. And again, the middle of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, the love and belonging doesn't really happen other than with your family members. So there's no social aspect to your life because you you move from point A to point B in a high-risk environment. And with a gang or with friends or extended family members and family members, we have the ability to fulfill that really important area of friendship and intimacy, family, and a sense of connection. So as this pandemic develops and all these things happen and all the buzzwords fly around, which I believe is a real concern, I think it's a real thing, we need to make sure that we as human beings connect and try to fulfill the needs of others. This is the highest calling that we have as human beings, to extend ourselves in love to other humans around the globe and to not selfishly hoard, hide, and isolate ourselves. Hope you have a great day today and make sure to stock up on the essentials. I think this has been a good gut check for all of us on do we have the things that we need, rice, beans, honey, whatever it is, sugar. Those things are available in plenty right now. And it's a good chance for us to kind of have a gut check and perhaps the heavens are calling and saying, hey, here's a test for you. Is everything in order? And are you looking outside of yourself?
This has been Jaeger. I hope you have a beautiful day.